Coming up next on This Week in Torrance, we'll tell you when fun in the surf can turn into dangerous conditions. Then this bus puts kids on the road to recovery. Plus, teens and celebrities aren't the only ones using Twitter. We'll tell you how this technology is helping keep Torrance safe. And for Women's History Month, we'll introduce you to a hardworking firefighter. These stories and much more just seconds away. Your local news starts now. Hello everyone and welcome to This Week in Torrance. I'm Jin Chun. And I'm Ben McCain. Thanks for joining us. According to the Department of Transportation, traffic fatalities in California continue to decline. The state is following a national trend where these deaths are at their lowest level since 2005. Increased traffic enforcement and anti-drunk driving campaigns have contributed to the decrease. Experts say the downturn in the economy may play a part as well since fewer people are on the road. New cars with modern safety features are also saving lives. But modern technology may bring these numbers up again. The state has not yet evaluated how texting while driving and talking on a cell phone without a hands-free device will affect these statistics. Well, here are some highlights on the latest city council meeting. From 8.30 to 9.30 p.m. on Saturday, March 27th, the city will participate in Earth Hour. For 60 minutes, households worldwide are encouraged to turn off their lights to symbolize working together to fight global warming. The Torrance chapter of the Knights of Columbus was honored for a special anniversary. The nonprofit organization has been doing charity and volunteer work in the city for 50 years. And later in the meeting, the city decided to waive our solar panel permit fees for single family homes for one year. The city will also try to make the process of obtaining the permits easier. Waiving the fee could save interested homeowners about $500. The D. Hardison Award is given to local supporters of the arts. The award is named for a former Torrance mayor, and this year another Torrance mayor is being honored. Reporter Anna Carranza is at the James Armstrong Theater with the story. The Torrance Performing Art Consortium, or TPAC, chose Mayor Frank Scotto and his wife Cindy as this year's D. Hardison recipients for their support and advocacy for the arts. Frank and Cindy make an effort to attend as many as the cultural arts events that they can in the city of Torrance. And I, send, I think that sends a real strong message how important cultural arts are to our community. Mayor Scotto serves as honorary chair of the South Bay Conservatory and supports the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation. His wife Cindy in the past has served as treasurer with the Torrance Symphony and is an active board member of the Torrance Cultural Arts Foundation. This couple have been supporters of the arts in the city of Torrance since they moved to Torrance so many years ago. For years, the mayor and his wife have enjoyed watching performances at the James R. Armstrong Theater. I wished that more people in the city of Torrance realized what a jewel we have here, this great theater that has so many fantastic performances. In these times of budget cuts, the first thing to go always seems to be the arts. So it takes the likes of community leaders to step forward in support of them. We're so glad that we have a community that supports the arts and want to continue to support the arts, but we have a long ways to go. For City Cable 3, I'm Anna Carranza. Thank you, Anna. After the awards presentation, patrons were treated to a special performance by the South Bay Ballet, and we'll bring you coverage of the performance later in the show. Our Torrance firefighters are known for their skill in saving lives, but what about their skills in the kitchen? Firefighters recently took on a new role when they put on aprons and started cooking. The Torrance Firefighters Association dished out plates of spaghetti to hungry patrons all for a good cause. The 38th annual spaghetti dinner raises money for a survivor summer camp run by the Lisa Ann Roosh Byrne Foundation. At this year's event, firefighters were able to raise over $5,000. To donate money to the Lisa Ann Roosh Byrne Foundation, you can go to aarbf.org. Well, coming up, lifeguards rescue most swimmers because of this one occurrence. We'll tell you how you can avoid it after the break. But first, here's a look at the current temperature outside. 